Hey there After Effects buddies, let's take a look at making some smoke come from a steam train. There we go, there's our steam. Ooh. Okay, so let's quickly do a new comp. New composition. I'll make it 1920, 1080, 10 seconds long, that's fine. I'll drop my background in, it's really big. I'll use transform by right clicking fit to comp there we go and now I will also go get my train drop that in there we are and I'm going to scale that down just hit the S key okay move that there we go to the bottom and I'm going to move the anchor point I'm going to use hit the Y key or hit the pan behind tool here to move my anchor point just to a little funnel here there we go okay hit P for position I'm going to move my train doo -doo -doo, off to the side come forward maybe about seven seconds or something move the train over okay so it's got a train journey so now we need to add our smoke so let's go to layer new solid I'll call this smoke hit OK and on this I'm going to drop CC particle systems 2 whoa here we go so first thing I want to do is attach the producer to the train and that's why I moved the anchor point earlier to make this easy so I'm going to open the producer Alt click on the stopwatch for position use my pick whip in the timeline for position and attach that to the position of the train just click to close and now we've got the smoke coming from the right place so next what we need to do is just change some of these settings so let's start with the particle I'm going to make it a faded sphere I'm going to change the colors to white for birth size and gray for the death color. I'll just take the opacity uh, down to about 50%. I'm going to take the birth size down slightly, increase the size variation, and that should do it for the type of particle. Okay, so we now we've got these magical fairy dust coming from the train. So let's change the physics. Okay. So on the gravity, I'm going to take that to a minus number. Maybe about minus 15. Okay. So we've got our particles going up. I want to add some resistance to that. So I'm going to max out the resistance, drag it all the way up to 200. That's going to kind of squash those particles together. Now, what I now need to do is I'm going to go, so I want my particles to start about here. I'm going to add, take the birth rate to zero, add a keyframe, come forward a little, maybe make my birth rate say perhaps 30. Let's try that. All right, and there we go hit you there's our keyframes and then come forward a little more and take my birth rate back down to zero so even those out a little bit so it spits out a bunch of particles and then stops I also want my longevity lower okay so it just kind of reaches only really too short so it just kind of reaches the top of the frame as it fades out so there we go so now it just spits out some particles they fade away I can copy these keyframes see I can just paste them again so I get a couple I need some sound effects I'll try my own choo choo not very good but there you go you get the idea 
So what makes this easy is really just setting the anchor point to here, because then we can use the pick whip to attach the particles to the right place on the train and a few simple adjustments and we've got ourselves a nice little animation. Okay, thank you very much After Effects friends, thank you.